Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? So, so. So, so? I'm fine. Okay, you're tired. Yes. Or sick. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry to hear that. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Beatriz, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. What about you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. And the rest of you, where are you? How are you doing, Beatriz? Hello, Beatriz, how are you doing? How's everything? Mm. Hola. Hello. Sí. How are you today? I'm fine. That's great. Hi, Corina. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Pretty good. And oh. you? Pretty good. Thank you for asking. And could you download the certificate? Yes. Okay. That's nice. Um, that's right. Um, Flor, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. I am fine, thanks. That's great. Okay, so uh, yesterday we practiced this conversation, the conversation I'm sharing with you. So, but um, I heard some of you practicing, but I think we, we didn't have enough practice. So we're going to listen it one more time and I would like you to volunteer to practice again. So we're going to listen the conversation one more time and then volunteer to practice. Page 32, exercise 5, conversation. I'm really hungry. Listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Oh, what kind? Cheese and mushroom. That's my favorite. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, so now you have reviewed the conversation. Do I have volunteers? Volunteers? Yes. Corina? Yes. And the other person? Yo también. Sara? Beatriz. Oh, Beatriz. Okay, Corina <laughs> and Beatriz. Let's listen to Corina Solo and Beatriz. Solo tengo una duda antes de... Yes? En hongos, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mushrooms. 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 Ah. Mushrooms. Mushroom. Okay. okay. So you can start, okay. Karina. Okay. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Oh, what kind? Cheese and mushroom. What's my favorite? Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Excellent. Now let's listen to Sara. Because Sara había levantado la mano. Who wants sí. to practice with Sara? Another volunteer to practice with Sara? Flor. Okay, Sara and Flor. You can start, Sara. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Mm. 
Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Oh, what kind? Cheese and mushroom. That's my favorite. Now I am very, very hungry. Let's eat. Okay, excellent job. Nice. You did a very nice job. So, um, normalmente kind y favorite son las que dan problemas, pero hasta ahorita oh, vamos bien. Okay. Excelente. <laughs> okay, any other two volunteers? Two more, and we continue then. Yo, Ademir. Hola. Okay, Ademir and Claudia. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you doing? What are you making? Mixa. Oh, what time? Cheese and mushroom. That's my fa uh, favorite now. I uh, hungry, hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Okay. Very good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Aquí sentí que se trabó un poquito en making. Poco, sí, making. Okay. Yes, making yes. and the other is favorite. Esta nos traiciona favorite. bastante la favorite. But you did it great. Great job. Thank you for your participation. And well, uh, part of the topics that we are studying is the intonation. Se encontraron por ahí en la plataforma con un ejercicio de que habla sobre la entonación, ¿verdad? Yes. And lo vamos a compartir. Vamos a verlo. It's um, intonation, rising and falling intonation. Okay, it's this one. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, what do you remember from the video? What did you understand from the video? It talks about rising and falling intonation. Uh, Tienen un ejercicio por ahí, ¿verdad?, que tiene que ver con esto, rising and falling intonation. Como escuchábamos en el video, la entonación es importante. 
eh, para mejorar nuestra habilidad de speaking, eh, para dar significado y también esto nos ayuda a mejorar la habilidad de listening en distinguir. Uh, hay reglas que se siguen. Básicamente en este lo que vamos a notar es que las yes no questions eh, tienden a llevar un tono de entonación ascendente. A eso se refiere la palabra rising y falling es que la entonación va decreciendo. Uh, básicamente las yes no questions. Voy a poner el audio y ustedes se van a dar cuenta que en esta sección tenemos dos yes no questions. Ustedes se van a dar cuenta que la entonación tiende a ir para arriba. Cuando la persona está haciendo la pregunta, la entonación tiende a ser ascendente. Cuando estamos haciendo WH o Information Questions, la entonación tiende a ser para abajo. Es como decreciente aquí al final. Escuchen y van a notarlo. Page 32, Exercise 6. Pronunciation. Rising and Falling Intonation. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice the intonation of the yes-no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Okay. Se fijaron. Is she getting up? La entonación en esa pregunta es como, como va subiendo. Is she getting up? You can repeat. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she Are getting they up? sleeping? Okay. Did you hear the second? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Okay, you sound really natural, you sound really good. Ahora vamos a escuchar las otras. Se van a fijar que en las WH questions, la entonación al final como que va para abajo. What's she doing? Okay, what's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? Ajá, al final baja, ¿verdad? What's she doing? What, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? doing? Uh-huh. So, let's practice one more time. Page 32, exercise 6. Pronunciation. Rising and falling intonation. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes-no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, that's nice. So, uh, this is, uh, luego tienen un ejercicio en la plataforma en la que solo van a, a, a poner raising or falling. Recuerden, la regla en general es que las yes no questions uh, is rising y las WH falling. Podemos escuchar este. Page 32, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen to the questions. Draw a rising arrow for rising intonation and a falling arrow for falling intonation. 1. Are you wearing a coat? Okay, and la uno, si se fijaron, era una yes, no question. Are you wearing a coat? Mm -hmm. La entonación era como right. para arriba. Are you wearing a coat? Entonces esa la que es así. Yes, no question is rising intonation. Vamos a escuchar la dos, que es la pregunta dos. Two. What are you doing now? Okay. Es para abajo. Exacto. Uh -huh. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Ajá, es para abajo. Let's listen number three. Three. What time is it? 
What time is it? Question. Falling. 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 Uh-huh. Falling. Es hacia abajo. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Racing. Racing. Uh-huh. Era una yes, no question. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Falling. Excellent. Falling. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Rising. Rising. Excellent. Rising. Rising. Are you from Thailand? That's great. That's a good exercise. <laughs> Creo que tienen uno similar en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. sí. Okay. And the next thing is to understand and review WH questions. And for that, we also have a video um, here in the platform. To understand the, how do we form the WH questions. That's the next video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat Los Angeles 4 a.m. what's Victoria doing she's sleeping right now Mexico City 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city, 
What are you doing? It's so I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so uh, here basically we have the structure, how to form the WH questions. And then um, there is an exercise that you were supposed to do, but I, I don't know if you did it. No sé si hicieron el ejercicio. Yes, I did. Yes, Joseph. Oh, you did it. Yes. Great. Do you have some of the questions which you would like to share with us? Mm. Hello? No, ninguna. Solo la de la vez pasada que que no me aceptaba la plataforma que le pusiera el ar, pero mi, la regla es que tiene que llevar el verbo to be. Okay. Cuando uh, puse Tom en su, what are Tom and Tom doing? Entonces la respuesta era, they are having breakfast. They are pero having era, breakfast. Uh -huh, pero yo le ponía así y no me lo aceptaba. Uh -huh. Así que quedó they they having breakfast. So uh -huh. they having breakfast. Yeah, but I, I don't know. It's, it, no sé por qué a veces da ese error la plataforma, pero bueno, la como vieron en el video, esta estructura necesita el verbo to be como auxiliar y un verbo principal al cual le agregamos ing. Entonces, bueno, ahí sí la, ya era una cuestión de un error de la plataforma. Pero como ustedes eh, vieron en el video, la estructura es que primero vamos a poner una WH word. Eh, llámese uh, what, where, why, who, eh, etc. Luego una forma del verbo to be. Am, is, o are. Luego el sujeto. Luego el verbo principal con ing. Puede que tengamos complemento, puede que no, y al final el signo de pregunta. Um, lo que pueden hacer ahorita es hacer ustedes preguntas siguiendo la estructura. Uh, tenemos las, las imágenes y los nombres de las personas. Uh, Victoria, Marcos, Sue and Tom, Celia, Jim and Anne. Andre, so ahí tienen el nombre de las personas y lo que están haciendo. Tenemos una pregunta acerca de la de la imagen. What's Victoria doing? What's Marcus doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? Pero nosotros podemos hacer otras preguntas adicionales para practicar uh, con la, siguiendo la estructura. Eh, por ejemplo, podemos escribir um, acá o algo relacionado a acá. ¿Ya? También para que sea como una respuesta negativa, ¿verdad? Eh, oh, WH question sería lo que practicaríamos acá. Por mm. ejemplo, uh, puedo preguntar a dónde, a dónde está, a dónde está trabajando Andrei. Ok, aquí tenemos a André. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Si yo quiero saber dónde está André trabajando. Primero voy a escribir la WH word, que sería? Where. Where. Is. Where is. André. Working. Excelente. Where is André working? He is working in Moscow. In the Mm -hmm. He is working in Moscow. Okay. Oh, podría preguntar qué está leyendo André. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta si yo quiero saber qué está leyendo André? 
What, what is Andre reading? Excellent. What's Andre reading? He is reading a report. Quizás un reporte. Porque no creo, no parece newspaper. He is reading a report. O puedes que esté leyendo cartas. He is reading um, love letters. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, well, why not? <laughs> okay. Because he's working. <laughs> oh, he's working. <laughs> okay. He's working uh, in love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, viendo acá, pueden formular otras preguntas. No necesariamente la que está ahí. Entonces, vamos a hacerlas... Por lo menos quiero que escriban tres preguntas diferentes acerca de estos dibujos. Tres preguntas diferentes. Sí. Escríbanlas y luego las vamos a practicar. Ok, teacher.
finished? Yes. Okay, uh, what I would like you to do now is to ask questions to your classmates. Um, let's uh, start with Corina. Can you ask one of your class, uh, one of your questions to your classmate? My question is, what, what's Marcos wearing? Uh, who? A quien le hace la pregunta? Uh, Delmi. Okay, tell me what Hi. Marcos wearing. Tell me what Marcos wearing. Espérenme que no lo veo. Ah, here. <laughs> en el centro, en la primera línea. What's Marcos wearing? It, yeah. He is wearing que lleva puesto. Pero, pijama. Es que tengo mala señal acá. No, no, no. Entrecortado, le escucho. Okay, he's wearing pajamas. Yes. Okay, uh, ask one of your questions, Delmi. Puede hacerle una pregunta de las suyas a otro compañero o compañera. Uh, what are you having breakfast with? Can you repeat the question? Who oh. are you having breakfast with? with? Who are you having breakfast with? With? Yes. Okay, entonces sería con quién estás desayunando? Uh, yes. Pero ahí, oh. ahí, ahí, o sea, le puse la, eh, para decir su, sweet, o cómo se dice, sweet, sweet. Eh, ¿El traje? No, el nombre de la chica con la que oh. está desayunando, Tom, Tom. Ah, ok, Sue, Sue. Sí. Ah, entonces sería... ¿Con quién está desayunando su? Yes. Ok, entonces sería who is su? Ok, who is su having breakfast with? Uh, Habría que cambiar. Are you... No, porque como va a preguntar por ella, por su. Ah, Entonces, okay. cuando, cuando es ella el sujeto, usamos is. Entonces, sería who is to having breakfast with. Who is to having breakfast with. Bien okay. complicada la pregunta. <laughs> ¿Con, <laughs> quién, sí. uh, ¿Con quién está desayunando su? Who is to having breakfast with. Ok, ahora, ¿a quién me hace la pregunta, Delmi? A Flor. Ok, Flor. Ok. Sue is having breakfast with Tom. Ok, Sue is having breakfast with Tom. Excellent. Can you ask one of your questions, Flor? Haga una de sus preguntas, por favor. Okay. Uh, 
En... What's Victoria wearing? What's Victoria wearing? ¿A quién sería la pregunta? Para... Suleima. Hola, ¿cómo fue la pregunta? What's Victoria wearing? Bueno. Sería, ¿dónde está durmiendo Victoria? No, what's Victoria wearing? What is Victoria wearing? ¿Qué significa el verbo wearing? Pues no sé. <risa> ¿Cómo que lleva puesto? Ajá, lo que está usando, lo que lleva puesto. Entonces sería... Victoria Wesley wearing, uh, wearing a, pi, a pi, pijama. Pijamas. Ok, Victoria is wearing pijamas. Ok, that would be the answer. Do you have a question for us? ¿Tiene una pregunta para hacerle a algún compañero o compañera? Yo hice una, pero no sé si está bien estructurada. A ver, veamos. Que sería, where does Celia work? Oh. Que sería, ¿dónde trabaja Celia? Ajá, uh -huh. yes, está bien, solo que no está en presente continuo. Uh -huh. Está en presente simple. Quizás sería, ¿a dónde está trabajando Celia? Where is Celia working? Where is Celia working? Okay, para quién sería su pregunta? Where is Celia working? Sara? Okay, ¿Sí? Sara, where is Celia working? She is working in Brasilia. Okay, she is working in Brasilia. Excellent. Okay, um, then I have also a link where we can continue practicing the WH questions. And I will share the link with you later. Okay. Okay, this is the link I'm going to share with you. No, las fotos. Yeah. Dice yeah. Domingo. Sí, pero cuando te dijeron que mordida. Okay, uh, the sun shining. What is the correct answer here? Is 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 the sun shining? The sun shining? What is the correct answer here? Are you painting the house? Am am I that am I that are 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 we buying food? Are we buying food? Are are is 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 are the children? Plural, are the plural. Children. It's plural. Children is plural. Not a running. Is 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 not a running. Are are. Okay. Um 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 is is my brother is. Yeah. It's my brother. Is is it now? Is is okay. Those are your answers are correct, and these are yes no questions. Todas estas son yes no questions. ¿Cómo decimos que era la entonación en las yes no questions? 
Rising. 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 Okay. Let's practice. Is the is the sun shining? Is the sun shining? Excellent. One more time. Is the sun shining? Is the sun shining? Shining. Are you painting the house? Are you painting, Are you the, painting the, house? the house? Am I studying English? Am I studying Am I English? English? Are we buying food? Are we, we buying buy buy food? Buy food? food? Are the children playing? Are the children, Are the children playing? playing? It's not a running? It's, it's not, not a running. running? Are they coming soon? Are they, Are they coming, they soon? coming soon? Am I cutting the tree? I am cutting the tree. Is my brother watching TV? Is my brother watching TV? Is it raining now? Is it it's raining, raining now? now? Excellent. Okay, I will share the link and you will receive this uh, link with this exercise and then you click on uh, what it says more exercises and it will direct you to more exercises here. Uh, la barra dirigir a esto, aquí pueden ver más present continuous forms. Um, aquí tenemos las oraciones. I am reading a book. You? You are. You are playing football. He? He is sleeping. She is dancing. Is dancing. It is eating bamboo. Yes, it is eating bamboo. We are running. We are running. You are. You are. You are talking. They. They are walking. My sister is reading. Is reading her bike. The birds. The birds are is flying. flying. Is. Are for the birds. Are ah, because it's plural. Is. No. Ajá. Are porque es plural. Is. Ajá. Entonces ya se convierte en ellos. Cuando es una cosa plural ya cambia, verdad? The birds are flying. Let's check. A hundred percent correct. Excellent. Okay. Ok, uh, parecía simple el ejercicio, pero nos, nos recordó que okay. cuando es plural, aunque estemos hablando de animales, pero ya no es el it, okay. el singular, sino que uh, por eso estamos are, the birds are flying. Y ahí ustedes pueden seguir dándole donde dice more exercises y seguir probando con los demás. Esto no es de la plataforma, solo es un recurso más para que ustedes puedan seguir practicando el tema y de esa forma pues a seguir practicando lo que es la gramática sin que sea tan aburrido. A mí me gusta sí. este sitio. Sí. Siento que es bueno. So, les voy a mandar el link y así pueden repetir los ejercicios. Uh, y it, uh, con este Yes No Question tenemos otro ejercicio en la plataforma. Es lo que acabamos de practicar, Yes No Questions. Y tenemos el Word Power, Some Activities. Ok, esto es vocabulario so, de algunas actividades que podemos hacer. Y eh, tenemos las oraciones, por ejemplo, la primera, vamos a escuchar, She's playing tennis. This word power with some activities, let's listen. Page 34, exercise 8, word power, activities, part A, listen and practice. She's playing tennis. Let's repeat. She's playing, She's tennis. playing, She's playing tennis. tennis. She's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. He's riding, riding a, bike. a bike. He's running. He's running. She's running. He's swimming. She's swimming. She's swimming. She's taking a walk. She's taking a walk. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. They are dancing. They're dancing. They are dancing. She's driving. She's driving. driving. She's driving. 
They're watching a movie. They are watching a movie. Watching a movie. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. She's reading. She is reading. He's reading. He's reading. reading. He's studying. He's studying. Studying. He's studying. She's watching television. She's, She's watching, television. watching television. Okay, what we're going to do with this is to ask and answer questions about the pictures in this part. Ahora vamos a practicar haciendo yes, no questions con estos dibujos. Lo que vamos a hacer para identificarlos es que las vamos a, a tomar como si esta fuera uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once y doce. Vamos a tomarlo como si tuvieran número. Y vamos a hacer preguntas que pueden ser... Um, Yo la voy a formular a como yo quiera, ¿verdad? Eh, pero que tiene que ser una yes, no question. Por ejemplo, esta sería la picture eight. Esta sería la ocho. Yo quiero preguntar, ¿están ellos, um, ¿están ellos trabajando? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Acuérdense que para pregunta primero va el verbo to be. Si yo digo, they are working, esa es una oración, they are working. Para hacer la yes, no question, tengo que darle vuelta primero el verbo to be y después el sujeto. Y digo, are they working? Are they working? No. No. They are. Are. Ajá, entonces podemos decir, no, they aren't. They are watching a movie. They are watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. They okay. are watching a movie. They are watching a movie. Y puedo decir acá, is she driving? In picture number seven. Picture number seven. Is okay. she driving? Yes. Yes, she, yes, she is. is. Yes, she is. Ok, recuerden, primero am, is, are, luego sujeto, luego verbo principal con ing. Okay. Hagan por lo menos unas tres preguntas. Les voy a dar tiempo de que hagan unas tres yes, no questions. Yes, no questions about the pictures.
finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, a volunteer to ask a question? Me. Is that Corina? Corina dijo me? Yes. Okay, Corina. Okay. The number five. Is she jumping? Flor Matute. Okay, Flor. Is she dancing? No, jumping. Ah, uh, jumping. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, she isn't. She's taking a walk. Excellent job, Corinne and Flor. Excellent. Uh, do you have a question, Flor, for your classmates? Yes. The number one? Number one. Okay. Is she playing soccer? <laughs> okay. A quién? Um, tell me. Okay, tell me. No, she is playing tennis. No, she isn't. She is playing tennis. Okay, great. Tell me one of your questions. Read one of your questions. Four. Are you is is mini? Uh, okay, Seria, is she is she swimming? Está ella nadando? Oh. Está bien la pregunta, solo que si usted me dice are you swimming, estoy yo. ¿Estás tú nadando? Yo digo, no, I am not. Okay. Okay, sería is she swimming? Para quién del mí? A quién le pregunta? Pero me quiero ver quiénes están. Oh, we have Sara, Jennifer. Sara. Okay, Sara. Is she swimming, Sara? Yes, I am. Mm. She? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. She is swimming. Yes, she is swimming. Excellent. Sara, ask one of your questions, please. Seven. Seven. Yes, the number seven will be this one. Is she running? Is she drive? ¿A quién sería su pregunta? Sería para Flor. Okay, Flor. Can you repeat the question, okay. Sara? <laughs> Is he right? Is she driving? No. Driving? Driving. Driving. Driving? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, that's nice. Um, we're going to finish section five with the reading. La sección cinco finaliza con una lectura similar a esta. Luego de la lectura, ustedes tienen unas preguntas acerca de quién está haciendo esas actividades. Okay. <laughs> we have friends across the continent. We're going to skim the conversation. Um, and then we're going to try to answer the question. Let's listen. Page 35, exercise 10. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She's studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? 
I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Where are you? I'm in a cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's talking on the phone outside. How is your family? They're all fine. My father is watching a baseball game with his friends. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My phone is ringing. My mother is calling me. I have to go. Bye. Okay. Bye. Right. Let's see if you pay attention to the reading. Read the conversation. We read it and we heard the conversation. Who is doing these things? Complete the sentences. Writing an essay. Who's writing an essay? Teacher. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> Maybe. Kathy, okay, yeah. writing an essay. Who is having coffee? I say Carmen. Carmen, oh. no. <laughs> Meg is having coffee. Three, number three. Taking the phone. Me, me. Uh, Carmen, yes, Carmen. Carmen, Carmen. Carmen, Carmen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is watching a baseball game. Ah, baseball. Is the Papa? cat, father, Kathy. Father. Kathy's father. Kathy's father. father. Excellent. Kathy's father. Kathy's father. <laughs> is shopping. Number five. Who is shopping? Shopping. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. mother. Excellent. And number six. Who's playing soccer? Good. Uh, John's brother. Happy brother. John or Kate's no. brother. <laughs> Very <Katie's> good. Brother. <laughs> Para las últimas sí le pusieron a ti. Sí. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's it for today. Eso sería todo por ahora. Uh, so, las veo mañana con el repaso. Me dijeron lo de los plural es ending. Possessive, los articles, y vamos a practicar un poco más el present continuous, right? Yes. Right. Okay, yes. yeah. Fine. Thank you for okay. joining today's section. I hope you sleep well and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good, Good night, night to everyone. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Bye. Sleep well. Good night. Goodbye. Sleep well.